Hello and welcome to the Late Night Lush. I'm Laura, your host, and we've got a really great show for you tonight. First, we're gonna rock it out with the band Trip and Dixie, and then we're gonna sweat it out with my good friend Anne from Lifetime Fitness. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, I am ready to introduce you to the coolest band on the planet, Trippin' Dixie. Let's go ahead and meet the band now. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so, you guys are Trip and Dixie, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, you're local to Lake Orion? Clarkson, Oxford area. Okay. This area. Do you guys do most of your shows in this area? Um, you know, for the most part, I mean, we travel all around doing shows. 
Sweet. I mean, we'll, we'll take anything we can get. Do you guys have a van? <laughs> uh, Suburban. You can say that. Okay, okay. There have been numerous Bane vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anything from a Cavalier to a big van. Anything yeah. we can put stuff in, gets it there. Nice. Sweet. All right. Well, um, <clears throat> let's ask, let's go ahead and find out what kind of formed you guys into a band. Like, who started it? Was one of you, like, hanging out with everybody in high school and then saying, like, hey, guys, let's start a band? Or Well, I mean, me, me and Casey over there, we, uh, we started, started playing together when we were about 15, 16. And then uh, that sort of broke off, and then I started jamming with these guys when I got a little bit older, and then we just sort of came together. Nice. Do you guys all get along, or do you fight? Because I hear no, a lot of rock bands so. fight. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's really just like a brotherhood. I mean, we're all like brothers. Yeah. Okay. Argue okay. over who left the toothpaste open and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now, you know, here's here's another thing I hear about a lot of rock bands is that you guys trash places like hotel rooms no. and hotel rooms, bathrooms. Yeah, but no. <laughs> we're, we're different from your average band. We have members of the band that have OCD, so everything gets cleaned up ridiculously <laughs> yeah. after a while. It'll so get really dirty, but then when it does get cleaned, there's nothing, spot. nothing else gets done yeah. except for cleaning. So the green room that I had you guys hang out in, is that going to be like spotless? It's going to be spotless. Oh, you awesome. have no idea. Food will be all gone. I live in Rochester <laughs> Hills. If you guys want to come play there and then clean up my house, that'd be great. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> so um, talking about shows, you guys obviously, how often do you guys do a show? Like, how I, Once every, if not every weekend, every other weekend, and usually summertime comes around, we're real busy doing two, maybe even three shows every weekend. So awesome. we're out and about, going in circles, you know, just trying to build up our fan base slowly but surely. Yeah, there's been a couple of weekends where we've done four shows over the weekend. Oh yeah, nice. I remember Fourth of July last year was just that was hell. Yeah, yeah we're absolute wor hell. We're so working hell. at like a, an everyday thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so that this is your goal is to one day be like the band. The band. Right. Not just a band. The band. The band. You, you got it right. Yeah. Really? Okay. I mean, I guess we just want to be heard. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for, right. I think for any band, right? Yeah. Um, how about this? What kind of like influences like for your your sound? Because I mean, obviously, to me, you, you know, you guys are rock, but you're not just. You know, I'm not hearing just rock in there. Yeah. You guys got some other we influences. We have a lot of different yeah, influences I mean, from different genres and decades. And yeah, I mean, I mean, for <laughs> for me, it would be like Mark Farner from Grand Funk, David Coverdale, Ian Gillen, Robert Plant, Steven Tyler. Just I mean, just like those bands like Aerosmith, Bad Company, Grand Funk, Deep Purple. Yeah. I mean, that's that. Those are my. That's where I get all my influences from. Like we we were all raised and yeah. you know just drilled on the old classic <laughs> rock, you know. But as as we got older as a band, I I think we you know all grew to listen to the more poppy stuff on the radio to just try to get that influence and get you know what people are listening to these days. To try to cut in you know mix it with that classic tone and just really get into people's heads on what we're trying to do here. You know. Right. I mean, you can't get so caught up in the past that you get left behind. Exactly. Then you got a bunch of people out there just playing cover and this is the same 12 bar blues over and over and over again. It ah, gets old. It gets old <laughs> quick. I like all the stuff that they don't like. Yeah, oh, okay. all the stuff we don't like. He's, he's our modern day influence. <laughs> Everything from 303 to Kesha to you know all that. All Nicki right, Minaj. all yeah. right. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Are you playing a little Kesha on the bass there? Like Oh yeah. <laughs> Get down. Don't tap it. I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm studying my rap music right now. So. Oh, all right. Get, getting the beats down. There you he, go. He's got to have that certain kind of funk, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, how about this? Um, so you guys started like fairly young, right? Yeah. yeah. How about your family, your parents? Does are your families very supportive? Or? I mean, for for me and him at least. I mean, his yeah. his dad's a guitar player. My dad's a singer himself. So I mean. Oh, they're they're constantly great. pushing yeah. us, and I mean they're very supportive. I mean even for the parents that aren't musically into it, I mean they, they still support us. Yeah. Yeah. They've all been there for They've us. They've helped us out with vehicles and money and any any I mean place to jam. Yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lord yeah. knows we've traveled from all the houses. <laughs> yeah, people get sick of it after a while. Yeah. Just <laughs> another, it depends on how long it takes for the cops to get called. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. Really exactly. So they're like your mentors and, and your roadies as well. Yeah, well, I mean, for our for, mo yeah, yeah. for moving our equipment, I mean, I guess we we pretty much got that down to a science. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. us. That's, that's us. We are the best roadies. Yeah. We are the best roadies. <laughs> nice. How about for your fans? Do you have um, really like dedicated fans? We do have a, a a small group of people so far that really do 
come to almost every show and they stick with us and they dig the, they dig the hell out of the music. Mm -hmm. Do you have any crazy fans? Uh, yeah, we've we've had some <laughs> yeah, crazy fans. We got fans, some people that bring sure. us brownies at every show. And, <laughs> yeah. You know. What kind of brownies? Oh, uh, not not special. They're not the ones you think. <laughs> I trust me. I got excited too the first time they brought them, but they're. Did you guys get them and be like? Yeah. These are just brownies. Yeah, they're just brownies. You know like, what? Really just to say, they were damn good, though. Yeah, they yeah. were okay. good. Okay. So when Lovely. you had the munchies, it was great. There you go. Great Excellent. thing to eat. Excellent. Okay, well, I do have something special for you guys. Ooh. Okay. Take a listen. Ready? I've been practicing this. Sounds like the bell you hear when somebody's about to say something. Right. You right. know, at school. That's good. Yeah. So I'm, am I in? <laughs> oh, I'm in? in the band? You're totally Hell in. Yeah. What is that thing? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I found it. You found <laughs> it? Yeah. Funny. On the side of the road? Yeah. No, I actually know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, you know, you guys played such a really great song um, earlier, and I was totally jamming to it. So why don't we do another one? We'd love to. Yeah. All right. How about before that? You guys have any shows coming up? Um, we do have June 23rd. We're at the Machine Shop with Jackal. Okay. That, that'll be a bumping show, if you know what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. All right. Lots of chainsaws. Will it be so good? Yeah. I won't remember it in the morning. Exactly. Yeah. yeah let, okay. Let's let's go for that. Yeah. Let's go for that. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So what what are you guys gonna play next? Uh, this next song is uh it's a newer song of ours. It's called Far Enough. Okay. Uh, it's more of like, on the political side of things, like. I mean, really, the world's going to shit. I mean, so we're trying, we just want to get that message across that it, it's gone far enough and we want people to realize that it's gone far enough, so. This song's right. called Far Enough. Yeah. All right, let's go, let's jam. Awesome. Right on. Cool. All right, I'm Laura and here comes the band.
Please remember that CFL bulbs, you know, those curly, energy-efficient light bulbs everybody is using to save electricity, shouldn't be thrown away in your trash. Neither should batteries or home medical sharps. You can check with your local community to see where they can be recycled. Some retailers will allow you to bring them in for recycling. You can also order simple kits online that allow you to collect your recyclables and simply mail them away to be properly recycled. This green tip was brought to you by your friends at Waste Management. Hello and welcome back to the program. I now have with me Anne. So Anne, what do you do? Well, tonight I'm going to lead everyone through a 10 minute cardio blast type of workout that you can do at home. You don't need any equipment. All you need is a little bit of floor space, a towel, some water, and uh, we'll get our heart rates up a little bit. Um, throw some punches, some do some kicks, and things like that. So, all right. that's what we'll do. Okay, let's uh, let's have you get started there and do your thing. Awesome. All right, it's for you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, get started in a boxer shuffle. <clears throat> Make sure those elbows are in, hands are up. Light on those toes. Tighten up through that core. Let's get started. We're gonna start sweating. Get ready. Four, three, two. We're gonna start alternating jabs. Jab, jab, jab. There we go. Right and left. Make it strong. Tighten up through your core. As you throw your punch, you take it out about 80%. You don't wanna bang those joints. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're changing it up to a cross punch. We're going side to side. Pivoting on that toe, turning the hip. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Give me a hook shot. Hook, hook. The elbows parallel to the floor. Arm has been about 45 degrees. You got it. Four, three, two. We're changing to an uppercut. Take it up, up, up under the chin. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, four jabs. Here we go. Four, three, two, four crosses. Four, three. Two, hook. There we go. Uppercut. Four, three, two, jab. Four, three, two, cross it. Four, three, two, hook shot. Uppercut. Four, three, two, give me two jabs. And cross. And hook. Uppercut. Here we go. Two jabs. Jab it. Cross, hook, upper, jab it, cross, hook, upper, boxer shuffle. Take it to a boxer shuffle. Very good. Heart rate's getting up there a little bit. Starting to sweat a little. Seven, six, five, four, three. We're going to bob. Two bobs. Here we go. Bob and left and right. Getting into those legs a little bit. Four, three, two. We're gonna add a jab. Bob it, jab, jab, and jab. Here we go. Four, three, two. Give me a cross punch. Bob, cross, cross, and cross. There we go. Tight through that core. Turning a whole body here. Hook shot. Hook it. And hook. Hook. Upper cut. There we go. Upper. 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 Four. Three. Two. Last one. Give me a squat. And up. Down and up. When you're doing squats, Make sure the weight is in your heels. You're pushing your bottom back. Back is straight. Take it down and up. Woo! Starting to sweat a little bit. Three, two, take it down, up on your toes. Take it down, up, 
Hands under your chin. Will really help with your balance on your way up. Four, three, two. We're gonna hit the floor with our arms in a round. Still coming up on your toes. You got it. Woo! Four, three, two. We're gonna squat down with a side kick. Down, kick. Other side. Kick. Down, kick. Down, kick. Four, three, two. Ah. Knee up. Here we go. Knees up. Pick up that knee. Eight, seven, six, five. When you're pulling it down, bring your hands to your outer thigh. Get it nice and tight through your obliques. On the sides of your waist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Give me one knee, two holds. Knee, hold, hold the side. Hold, hold. Knee, hold, hold. Here we go. Four, three, two. Give me a kick. Kick it. Hold, hold. Kick it. Hold, hold. Kick. Hold, hold, kick. Four, three, two. Change it to a side kick. Side kick. Hold, hold, side. Hold, hold, side. Hold, hold. Four, three, two. Change it to a back kick. Take it back. Hold, hold. Hold, hold. On that back kick. Back is straight. Push out through your heel. Back, pull, pull. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Jab it out. Just jab. Keep it tight. Here we go. Focus. Speed it up. Lean into that jab. Make it tight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Yeah. Hit it. Eight, seven, six. See how I'm turning my body on that cross? You got to pivot. Pivot that toe. Turn those hips. Four, three, Two, add two knees. So it's jab, jab, cross, two knees. Jab, jab, cross, two knees. Pick it up. Knee, knee. Jab, jab, cross, knee, knee. Four, three, two. Last one. That second knee turns into a jack, jack. Here we go. And jack. Jab, jab, cross. Knee, jack. Jab, jab, cross. A lot of power needed here. Knee, jack. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Jab it on the left. Just jab it out. Lean into it, make it strong. We're doing lots of shoulder work, bicep, tricep here. Tight through your core. Always gotta tighten up through that core. Speed it up. Woo! Yeah. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Give me a jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, make it strong. Bring that body around. Four, three, two, get ready, add those two knees, jab, jab, cross, knee, knee, jab, jab, cross, knee, knee, jab, jab, cross, knee, you got it, Woo. four, three, two, Last one. We're gonna add a jumping jack at the end. Here we go. Knee, jack, jab, jab, cross. Knee, jack, jab, jab, cross. 
knee, jab, 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 cross, knee, boxer shuffle. Take it down, good job. March it out. We got our heart rates up. Got a little sweat going on. Rapid breathing. Just move those feet, keep it moving. That was only 10 minutes. We got a nice little cardio blast. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Mike Bouchard, the Oakland County Sheriff. There's a big problem that faces all the communities in America today, and that's abuse of legitimate prescription drugs. Sometimes they're left in the home when a loved one passes away, or they're in the medicine cabinet for someone else, and a youngster in the home steals it and they abuse it. It's one of the fastest growing drug abuses that we see in our community and across the country. Secondly, we see these drugs oftentimes when they're no longer utilized being flushed down the drain and we're seeing higher levels of residual pharmaceuticals in our waterways and our streams. So to solve two problems with one effort, we partnered with Home Instead Senior Care to start a program called Operation Medicine Cap to get those drugs out of the homes, out of the hands of youngsters and out of the waterway and safely and environmentally destroy them. Learn more about the program at OperationMedicineCabinetMI.com and be part of the solution. Thank you. All right, late night lushies. It's time for bed. We're wrapping it up here. I'd like to thank my guests, Tripp and Dixie, and Anne for giving us that great workout. We will see you next time.